Hello everybody, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is the Daily Read for Tuesday the 23rd of April 2019 and this is for all signs, for all signs, so it won't resonate with everybody, it resonates for those who it's meant to resonate for. And the reading can apply a few days either side of this reading. So I've just pulled an Angel Oracle card and one popped out which is, wow, Manifestation. Manifesting, transforming, creating. It's beautiful. So I'll pull three cards from the classic Rider Waite deck and then I'll use the Radiant Rider Waite deck to clarify. It's just, in my experience, they work really close together as a reader for me. The energies just seem to complement each other. So the first card out is Two of Wands. What else do we have cards? What else do we have? For Tuesday the 23rd of April 2019. Tuesday the 23rd of April, please, 2019. Okay, I've got three cards now. So we have Temperance. And we have the Eight of Pentacles. So cards, can I have a clarifier for Tuesday the 23rd of April, 2019? And let's get a clarifier for the Two of, two of Wands. The Two of Wands. Let's get a clarifier for the Two of Wands, please. Okay, three cards have popped out. We have the Nine of Swords, we have the Ten of Pentacles, and we have the Knight of Cups. Can I have a clarifier for Temperance, please? A clarifier for Temperance. Okay. That card popped turned over as well, so I'll just hit those two. So we have Death and the Hermit. And let's get a clarifier for the Eight of Pentacles, please. Okay, we have Justice. Okay. So the overriding message from the angels is manifestation. You are transforming. You have the power to change your circumstances for the better, to manifest. This can be creating something out of nothing, really magical. You see the spark, the, the almost kind of like the magic spark, the stars that, that emanate from the hand of the angel. And she's almost kind of like floating in space. This is very much about manifesting something from nothing. It's about creating, changing your life for the better, most definitely. And that's what some of you want to do. I think some of you are making clear decisions now. Probably feeling now's the right time to take decision, to, make, to take control of your life. The wands can represent your own power. They can represent opportunity that surrounds you. Could be an opportunity that you're grabbing hold of, that you could have been offered. So it can link in with career paths, finding your passions, that kind of thing. Because there's two ones and what this person's grabbing one, it means that they're also making choices, clear choices in life. But it's long-term choices. You see how they're trying to shape their own world for the better? This is showing how almost kind of like it's the turning point of recognizing your own power because the world is so small. 
The world is so small, it's in their hand. And that's the feeling that you get when you feel that you're getting back in control of a situation that once you were probably lost controlling. This is where you're beginning to make clear choices now for the better, to start shaping your life. That it talks about expansion growth. The beginnings of, of heralding in a, a time of flourishing and thriving. But it's somebody who's thinking about this. They're very conscious about the decisions they're making now. I do talk about the red hat. Very switched on. Switched on to um, the decisions that they're making long term. And this is long term. You see the hills in the, in the distance. This is long term decision making. What you want in life, your passions, desires, can, can really relate to any aspect of your life. Ones can sometimes relate to business a, a little bit more. So there could be opportunities that you're grabbing hold of and, and beginning to run with or deciding on an offer maybe. Maybe there's two offers and you're choosing one. Maybe there's two options. Maybe you've come to a crossroads and you're choosing your path. Now this could be passion desires as well, certainly on the love front. And I think you're making your clear choice. But this is doing something that's very much in line with your long-term growth. So really big in terms of manifestation, bringing about change for the better in your life. And I think some of you have needed it. The Nine of Swords. This happens, this energy happens. It's the card of insomnia, not being able to sleep at night because in the dead of night, deep hurts, wounds from the past, negativities come back to haunt you keep you in a negative state of mind. So much so that you can't put things into perspective. Now, the only way that you're going to be able to make choices is by putting things into perspective and realising that this card is an illusion. This is how the mind can play tricks on you. And when you stand back and see the truth of that, it's empowering. Ten of Pentacles, making decisions potentially for long-term success. Some of you want financial success. Some of you are making clear decisions now in how to achieve that most definitely. Because long-term is saying this, whatever decisions that you're making, whatever opportunity you're grabbing hold of, this could have long-term positive repercussions on your financial health most definitely. And on things like property, cars, material wealth. This can also link to solid relationships. Wanting more solidity in life from in a relationship perspective. So those of you who are looking to... If you do have a, a choice between two people, for example, this can be where you're wanting more a more solid foundation. You're wanting something for long-term growth, most definitely. It's the card of solid relationships, solid family networks. So, yeah, beautiful energy. And, yeah, I mean, there could be... It could be an offer of love, most definitely. This could also be you having found self-love along that journey that you've been searching for. Yeah, you see, the swords are linked to the mind. And in this situation, you can close off your heart, your mind to situations. And this could be, this Knight of Cups could be finding your self-love again, your self-worth. But I also think this could link into certainly relationships, partnerships with somebody, an offer of love, or a loving offer. Could be an offer of love or a loving offer from somebody, somebody giving you emotional support, for example, to come out of this difficult situation. Now, temperance energy. This is where, yeah, this is the point in time. I mean, you have this clarified with death. Something's over. 
there's a there's a final there's a finality to this something is very much over in your life something might have finished it could have been a relationship it could have been a job situation it could have been an end it can be an end to difficulties that you've been facing because and the way you bring about this ending is by you see these two cups can link with emotions most definitely but can also talk about how extreme emotions can pull us apart and there's a need to blend them to find balance now this is the water of life the ebbs and flows of life the highs and lows of life and I think you've experienced both and some of you may well be coming out of that dip, you know, where you've experienced the lows in life and, and moving towards that high again. Temperance talks about balance. It talks about... Yeah, it talks about very much balance. It talks about reconciliation as well. It can be a card of reconciliation. Reconcil reconcil reconciliation within you. Or it could be reconciliation with other people. Or reconciling that something's gone. It's a process of acceptance, the, the temperance card. It's whatever it takes to bring you back to balance. Truths coming out most definitely. Seeing things in a fresh light maybe as well. To give you fresh balance. For those of you making choices on the business front, the temperance card, you see the, 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 um, the angel dips their toe in the water. This is very much about move forward with caution doesn't say just say you know there, there could be a path to to enlightenment to success it could be the right path for you but dip your toe in the water first don't overcommit to situations or to buying product or to spending a fortune and so on and so forth and this is a slowly but surely card most definitely this is a cautiously optimistic card certainly on the business front now the death card with, with temperance is, is obviously saying something is over and to let something go. This is where our old beliefs, it also can be our old hurts, our old patterns, the way we thought we needed to be in one, you know, one stage of our lives, maybe the way that we've been brought up. It could be to see a work situation or to be in a relationship or to be with friendships or to deal with money, you know, whatever the situation is. This is where death almost kind of like knocks all your old belief systems down and you're reborn. And when you're reborn in death, the limitations are removed and you have the opportunity to set new boundaries. That's the real transformative, that's the beauty and the transformation of death. It also says that death escapes nobody. And that everybody has to accept endings at some point in their life. You know, some people might not want to let go of their passions, desires. You know, I'm just seeing that in that card. But sometimes, in order to move on, you need to let go of all baggage that has held you back for long enough. But it's very much about resetting your limitations. Rethinking, almost kind of like thinking out of the box. That's what death allows you to do. Blue sky thinking. The sky's the limit. Open your mind. That's what death says. Open your mind. It's almost kind of like the sun's rising on a new day, but it's almost kind of like the first day that you see everything in its full colour, in its full glory. Because all of a sudden, it's like you've been reset. It's almost kind of like there's been a reset button within you. And suddenly there's a whole raft of potential around you. That's beautiful. Now, I think certainly some of you with, with temperance, I mean, the Hermit goes very well with a temperance card. Uh, this is actually the star. It links to the star card, the star in the lantern. You're searching for direction. You've been searching for 
which way you're going to go in life. You've been searching on how to make decisions. This can be soul searching as well. This can also be a period of healing and acceptance. Very complementative with the temperance energy. Now, these two cards can link to Sagittarius and Virgo for some of you. It is kind of like being able to see that light at the end of the tunnel, that the journey, the inner journey that you've been making, is easy to walk away from people. I've said this before, but it's harder to actually deal with memories of the past, hurts of the past, things that have thrown us off balance, thrown us off our path. This is where we're getting up and finding that path again, again, that reset button. I just feel that reset button is being hit and it's been hit within you and I think you're beginning to find that hope again and that's what temperance does it brings you back to balance it makes you hope it gives you fresh eyes seeing things with fresh eyes that you didn't see before the okay so we have Justice and the Eight of Pentacles. Now, some of you could have been working hard, could have been hard work on a relationship, potentially. Um, it could have been hard work in, in terms of a work situation. There could be legalities associated with justice. There could be legalities associated with this Eight of Pentacles energy. So some of you could have been in legal... Yeah, now the, on, the, on the downside, this can talk about, you know, if you've had problems at work and there's been legal proceedings involved. You know, this is saying that justice is on your side for those of you in a relationship, because pentacles can talk about linked to relationships as well. This is very much saying that, you know, the relationship has been hard work. But again, if there's been legal proceedings in a relationship and you found it hard work to, to get over... It's saying justice will be on your side. But I think you've you've had your head down and, and absolutely the message is wrongs will be righted. The sword of victory points up to the heavens. I just think this Eight of Pentacles energy is very much about you being focused, you being practical, you providing yourself something solid. It's almost kind of like step by step, it's been a long time coming, but you can feel that success coming. And I think it's a, it's a karmic success and it's, a, it's almost kind of, it can be a legal success as well, most definitely. Let me get a clarifier for justice. Well, let's get another clarifier for the Eight of Pentacles actually. Okay, yeah, wishes coming true, yeah. This is coming through the other side of a situation. It could be, as I say, it could be an earthly form of justice, wrongs being righted. Maybe where you're getting recognised for the work that you're doing. Either way, I think what you're working on now is bringing about your own dreams, your own wish fulfilment after a difficult situation has gone through. I think you're coming out the other side of, of some kind of like could be argument, disagreements. It could be where your actions have been judged and maybe other people's actions have been judged against you. Maybe the two pitted against each other. And I think justice is kind of like saying that, you know, you're in the right. So just keep focused. It says keep focused, keep working hard, and you will get that wish fulfillment most definitely. Um, happy days ahead. This can also talk about celebration. Good food, good wine, good drink, you know, um, most definitely. So I think there could be, and it could be in a relationship situation with the Nine of Cups. Could be you've, found it, you've, you've been up against it in terms of a legal situation in a relationship for some of you. But I think also, of you, also some of you are coming are coming through and just 
getting your head down, focusing and creating your success, maybe after either karmic justice or, or justice has done its, done its job. And it's being true to you. This is something that has to be true to you. This is building something solid for the future, most definitely. Cards, do we have any other card on justice? Any other card? Any other clarifier on justice, please? Any other clarifier, please? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're finding balance again. Whatever this situation has been, I think you're finding that balance again. Temperance is saying that you're going to come through this situation. I think there's been opposing arguments. There's been some challenges, most definitely. I think there's been internal challenges, something that's affected you emotionally, maybe mentally. Maybe this justice has literally permeated your life for a long time. And this is you coming through the other side, most definitely. Finding that balance again. Also, it stands for truth, truths. And being being uncovered most definitely and there's a reason to be cautiously optimistic in this situation and I think the two of, of wands is very much being able to take decisions in your life to move on because this this situation is coming to a close and it's worked in your favor so it's taken a long time to come to this point now this could be either karmic justice earthly justice Again, both these cards talk about finding balance again. But I think you're moving on, you're seeing that path forward now. After this period of, of difficulty, of challenge. Maybe you're being challenged. But you're getting your wish fulfillment. Whatever your hopes, your dreams, what difficulties to do with this situation, could even be in finances. Um, could be arguments over finances, payments. That type of thing. I think it's saying that justice is on your side now. And it's time to move on. It's time to move on. It's time to manifest and change your life for the better. Uh, because something is coming to a close, and I think it is this situation with justice. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a great day, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.